My name is Bolesh Holmos. Uh, I'm a professor of medicine and chief of thoracic oncology at Montefiore Medical Center, Albert Einstein College of Medicine in the Bronx. I have no relevant conflicts of interest to disclose. I was hoping to tell you this morning about a new option for the treatment of small cell lung cancer patients. First of all, let me tell you that small cell lung cancer is no small problem. Each year in the US, more than 200,000 cases of lung cancer are diagnosed, and 10 to 15% of those are of small cell histology, a highly aggressive subtype with ultimately 80 to 90% of patients dying from their small cell lung cancer diagnosis. And patients with advanced so-called extensive stage disease have an average life expectancy of only a year. There have been very few advances for the last 40 years in the management of small cell lung cancer. Most recently, we've seen activity with a new modality called immunotherapy, and now that has become standard of care for frontline management of extensive stage small cell lung cancer patients, along with platinum-based doublet chemotherapy. While this has been a welcome development, unfortunately, immunotherapy provides only modest benefits, and we've had very limited options in after progression on frontline therapy, with multiple trials failing with a long series of novel agents to make an impact in this very important context. And the standard remains second-line chemotherapy, such as topotecan, which is marginally effective, quite toxic, and is very inconvenient for use due to its complex administration schedule. Therefore, it has been a very welcome development to finally see a new agent, lurbinectin, in also called Zabzelka, being approved for the management of small cell patients in the second line setting. This novel marine agent derived originally from a C squared, binds DNA, and impacts the cell cycle and transcription. Its activity for small cell lung cancer was confirmed in a phase two study of 105 patients, where overall response rate was 35%, than overall duration of response of more than five months. Now, let me state that for platinum sensitive disease, the overall response rate was a very impressive 46%, with a median overall survival being 15 months. But maybe even more strikingly in platinum resistant disease, where topotecan has minimal, if any, activity, overall response rate was 21%. This study led to lurbinectidin's approval by the FDA in June of 2020 at the prime time in the middle of the COVID pandemic, now offering our patients an active, less toxic and convenient choice for management. I, as a clinician, focusing on the management of lung cancer patients, see a new small cell lung cancer patient maybe each month or so, and could not be more thrilled with this new choice. We, in fact, eagerly lined up to get early access to this exciting compound at my institution through the expanded access program and thereby possibly have richer experience than maybe others. In our experience, lorbinectidin generally has been found safe with mainly manageable gastrointestinal and hematological side effects. And given its documented activity, especially in platinum refractory disease, where topotecan lacks activity, better toxicity profile, and much more convenient administration schedule, which is so important for our patients in the middle of uh, the pandemic, with a short intravenous infusion once every three weeks, it has become our go-to second-line choice for the management of extensive stage small cell lung cancer patients in our practice at Montefiore.